Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So, Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you are dealing with a Taurus. So guys, gonna switch it up a little bit today. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be doing a general reading, the person on your mind and the person that thinks about you, okay? You know, yeah, we do the person that, I'll do the person on the mind and then how you feel, but sometimes don't focus on the person that's actually really emotionally invested in you. So I want, to, I want to look at that. All right, guys. So please remember to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help. Okay. Um, and let's get straight into your reading. Let's get you an angel number to start your reading off. And then we'll go straight to the general portion. Okay. Someone feels like they can pull the wool over your eyes. Like, it's very strange, yeah, because I I got that saying, but I saw someone, like, closing the curtain and it's almost like, ha-ha, you can't see me or you can't see what's going on or, like, there's something about someone trying to... It could be gaslighting you guys. Um, now, it doesn't have to be a love interest, you know, all types of people do that, but... There's someone who is trying to... You know, let me just put it like this, guys. Yeah, you know when someone feels like I'm going to have, to, I want to say this in a way, yeah, but like at the same time, I'm not trying to dis disrespect somebody, but I have to go with how I'm feeling. You know when someone's not too bright, yeah, when someone's, yeah, not all, yeah, um, and they think that saying or doing something that they might accept, that you'll accept that or, or you will... Um, tolerate that and it's like you should have tried harder you know you should have tried harder with the explanation or or whatever it was yeah beware of someone like that someone feels like you guys are at the same level and you're not because it feels like it feels like someone's trying to make make out like you're the one that's not not so bright anyways so let's get into it Angel number message for Taurus, please. Nine, nine, nine. I am unique. Okay. So, Taurus, let's read this. It says here, thank the past for the lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be filled, to be fulfilled only by you okay very very important okay some of you guys you could have scorpio in your chart or something significant could have happened around the scorpion season okay late october up until 20 something of november yeah around them times or some of you guys could be dealing with a scorpio yourself or have, or have scorpio in your chart yeah if not then it's about that is that 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 message it resonates with the death card in, in tarot okay for me um probably a few others as well but and probably the temperance card as well yeah healing anyways so general let's start with this deck tell me about taurus please for whenever they watch this the queen of wands has come out Some of you guys are getting your energy back. You're feeling good. You're feeling optimistic. You're feeling back. Um, you're feeling like yourself a bit more. Tell me about Taurus, uh, Taurus, please. The Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. That's interesting. That's funny. Some of you guys are in this energy or you've, you've been in this energy or you are. Where you don't want to fully commit to things or you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to fully commit to something and when I say commit I don't um mean just in a romantic way okay or someone that um ah ah okay somebody that doesn't follow through on something okay you could be dealing with someone like that and at the same time it's quite frustrating because you're coming out with this energy like yep yeah, I'm ready let's go let's do this 
a um, bit more energy back. I'm not sure what's happening in your life for you to feel that way right now. But there's also this other energy of someone kind of going around in circles and staying stagnant because we've got the Eight of Swords there and the Knight of Wands. So it makes you feel like someone's, someone gets excited or it's optimistic about something that's happening or an idea and then it kind of fizzles out and then they remain where they were to start with. Let me, tell me what that's about, please. The Ace of Swords, the world, the temperance. Someone really needs to be quite frank. So I'm not sure if you're, some of you guys, you could be doing this for work or you could be dealing with a person in your life like that's a family member, a partner, yeah, a friend, where it, I just saw revolving doors, like just going around in circles, as the same as a hamster wheel, not going anywhere, yeah, or anytime soon, until they choose to get off or get out. All right, I get it. So there's this frustration. There's this frustration coming from from you, from you, Taurus, I'm not sure if this is right now, this is what's been going on, right? Where it's like, there's only so much I can do, there's only, only so much I can say until this person sees that they're so much better than how they're acting, how they're, how they're living. Um, but this person has to be very real, very, very, very um, honest about how they're living their life how they're going about life the, the, the decisions they're making they need to really put certain things to an end and start to heal because i feel like someone's just going around and around and around in circles and not not really accomplishing much in life or there's a connection that's not really moving forward because someone's doing the same things yeah all right tell me more please eight of pentacles yeah it's going to take a lot of hard work um someone may also have homework or need to really reflect okay it could be something to do, to do with homework or reflecting on themselves or a situation how many more the death card and that's the energy that had come out originally with the 999 that's weird isn't it 999 don't want to get all dark in that, but let's just be real, yeah? Real life, yeah? Because this is what it is. 999, um, or it depends on where you are in the world. Obviously, here in the UK, 999 is the emergency services, yeah? Police, ambulance, the fire brigade. You know, it'll be 911 for you, different, like in America and stuff like that. But, and then we've got the death card, and that's the energy that I was getting. Like, they, something needs to happen promptly something needs to be addressed like now not yesterday not to, look, not tomorrow not not on monday not the new not the new year like now someone keeps putting something off and it needs to be addressed immediately to move forward can you tell me what this is please the eight of wands the ace of pentacles give me one more the seven of wands There's not just one person. Okay, so I'm going to say whoever this is, yeah, it's going to take more than one individual, one individual, one conversation, one whatever, one method. It's going to take multiple different resources or people um, for whether this person... Some of you guys, you might be feeling like it's you, like, why can't I get out of my head? Why can't I move past this? And the reality is, if you, if you find, like, the things that I'm saying is like, that's how I'm feeling. You have to allow yourself to do that. You have to, you know, gift yourself that. And really a lot of things, and I know some people might, might not want to hear it, but I have to be real. Look, the thing is guys, yeah, life is short. So I can say things in a pretty sweet way, or I can say things directly so people get it. Yeah, life's too short, you know? Um, the end of the day so sometimes we experience things because we're not addressing things so whether it's you or someone that you're dealing with certain things need to be addre addressed not suppressed not avoided not um replaced okay um we've got the ace of pentacles and the and the seven of wands 
it's like when someone starts something they're being blocked or they feel like that is so jarring someone someone's chakras are blocked here as well i'm not really one to funny enough i have got my chakra cards there i took them out the other day someone's chakras are blocked um let me see let me see so i've got i haven't used this deck in a while probably about less about close to a year i'm intrigued to see what areas of um taurus's life this is or the person that's cross watching or the person that you're dealing with yeah wisdom that's about learning that's about understanding it's the same kind of energy okay lessons that's the energy the hierophant okay the hierophant's wise because they've 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 um they've understood the lesson and not always like oh okay that happened to me that happened to me what are you going to do with it i feel like someone just needs to really um i might sound harsh but listen and accept something we have rejection okay this is interesting i'll show you the card i'm going to show you the card so there's a person here painting okay they've got they've got paint brushes and they're painting okay and there's ghosts there there's spirits okay so i'm the way this person is looking is like this person's an introvert introverted person probably to themselves very very much a creative person so at, the, at this time some of you guys may feel like you don't belong in like I've we've all felt that at some point like this world what is going on I don't feel like I belong what's my place here for so for some of you guys it could be the case um I feel like you guys are being really cheered on or there may, may be certain things um information that you're receiving messages dreams and things like that but it feels like you're not be, someone's not being accepted Maybe it's by society, maybe by the family members. Or not feeling good enough as well. That's rejection comes from that as well. Not feeling good enough. Very um different read. Tell me more. Bittersweet. So um <sighs> What I want to say with this as well, because I, I like if you've been watching me for a while, some of you guys know. Um, you know, this last ooh, seven, seven, eight, seven months, I'm seven months pregnant. If you don't know, um, the seven, eight months has been very, very bittersweet for me. You know, um, it's my first child, always wanted children. There's been fertility issues with me for um, over the years. And I, you know, it's a miracle baby. Yeah. But then my father passed away in November, okay? Um, so it's a very bittersweet time for me. So some of you guys could be, it could be like that, like, you know, certain things have been happening for you. Say, for example, um, you know, um, you're, say if you've got like, ch like teenage children, adult children, and they got the placement that they wanted to go to study here. And you're like, that's amazing, but now I'm not going to see them as much and or or something like that you know where there's a big change in someone's life doesn't always have to be someone passing over okay um but it feels like there's a very challenging time and you're not sure where to put your energy taurus or this is somebody that you it could be you and someone else as well but i don't feel like for all of you it was you directly it could be but it's something that's affecting you that's why it's come out in your reading i'll get two more cards and then i'll move on to the person on your mind we have uh, perseverance. So keep going. Don't stop. It's not for you to stand up, um, to throw your hands up, um, to give up, okay? At this time, you have to be your biggest cheerleader. And sometimes it takes a lot of strength, but, um, you know, or, or this person, cross watcher, or the person that you're dealing with, they have to be their own cheerleader. Like I'll say again, there's only so much you can say and do. And then you have to leave it up to people to kind of want that for themselves. Then we have renewal, which is lovely. I love that. Um, so that's what I'm saying. If you keep moving forward, you will get this sense of, 
of feeling renewed. It could also be like some kind of awakening. OK, it could be like finding a part of yourself or. I said that that's really weird. Look at this. Look, look at this, guys. And they're both wearing red. So this, the first card that come out was the Queen of Wands. And then the last card in this is the Renewal. They're both wearing red there. OK, so I feel like it's more about the, the fire element. OK, the passion, the drive, the, the energy. And it's all, it's all about that. So I'm not really overly great with the chakras and stuff like that. But wherever you get your energy from, something like that has to be, be really, um, really worked on right now. OK. All right. Let's put these aside. All right. Let's move on. Let's do the person on your mind. And then we'll do the person who, do the person on the mind, on your mind, how you feel. Then I want to do the person that's thinking about you, okay? And then I'll see if I would, if if I still got time to do an extra um, category for you. We'll see, yeah. All right. The person on Taurus's mind. Let's use the gold cards. Okay. Tell me about the person on Taurus's mind, please. What's currently going... Let's see what's going on with you guys first. What's going on between Taurus and the person on their mind? The page of wands. So there's communication or there will be communication. Um, it's There is energy of like, I'm happy to hear from you or I'm happy to speak to you. OK, um, some of you guys, it may be some talks about. Um, maybe let's just say flirtatious messages. I'm going to keep it PG. Yeah. Oh, three of swords. OK, that's interesting. So there may be conversations about. Um, uh, the thing is, I don't feel like overly um, saddened by that three of swords. Especially with the page page of ones coming up. So I feel like some of you guys are talking about what disappoints you. So there is a conversation being had or what's hurt you, what hurts you, what you don't like, um, you know, what hurt you in the past. Tell me more. It's Ace of Cups. Is that the renewal coming into this reading now? Yeah. Um, some of you guys could be at a place or will be at a place with this person where I want to say someone is listening, okay, that this person is listening or Taurus um, or cross watch out, the Taurus will listen. They'll be at a place where um, they're more accepting of hearing certain information at this time, okay? Tell me more. Uh, there could be a possibility for a um, relationship or continued relationship, okay? It's very interesting. The Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups, it makes me feel like you guys have already gone through things. Um, definitely had conversation. Like if you're a Taurus where, let's just say you got past that dating stage and it was a bit more serious, yeah? Um, and you guys were either in a relationship or it was like, you guys' energies were really like, you know, together like that for whatever reason. Um, I feel like someone here is definitely open. This person's not closed off. All right, so let's see how this person feels about you right now. The High Priestess. Oh. For some of you guys, one of the issues that some of you guys it could be a pisces by the way but what i do want to say is for some of you guys you felt like this person wasn't always direct with you quite secretive about their feelings towards you or their next move okay mysterious tell me more the ace of pentacles you got two aces there so i wouldn't be surprised if something comes about with you in this person I just remembered the dream I had last night and that person better not pop up in my life. Leave me alone. 
I hope I hope it's not a case for you guys where it's like, oh my god, I hope this person leaves me alone. But hopefully, it's somebody that um, <laughs> you do want back in your life. All right, the chariot. This person does want to move forward with you guys. This person does want to. So, but uh, why, why is the high priestess come out, please? Can you, the fall. And you know what as well? I was getting that and I didn't want to say that phrase, but now that's come out, I have to say it. The high priestess, the ace of pentacles, the chariot and the fall. This makes me feel like this person's in that energy of, do you know what? Especially with what's, what's happening between you guys. I like this person. I like all love. It'll be different for all of you guys. You know how your connection is with this person. But I want to see how it goes. And so it feels like there's not a ton of pressure on you both. I don't feel like there's heavy pressure on any of you guys, which really and truly, you know, if someone feels like they have a lot of pressure on them from another person, like, um, makes me feel like something's being forced a bit. Do you know what I mean? A little bit forced. Or the communication's really poor, where it's like, don't you understand where I'm coming from? Like, let, do you know what I mean? But I do feel like this person is is definitely willing to move forward and see where things go with you. I don't feel like this person's closed off. This is not the energy of somebody that's closed off. The high priestess, even though that's, you know... Anyways, the ace of pentacles, the chariot, the fool. That's somebody who's open, who's willing, who's ready to try something new, even regardless of what's happened in the past, okay? All right. Um, how does Taurus feel about this person right now? And then we'll, um, well, it depends on what come out. Let's see. I don't want to jump to the next category just yet. Ten of cups. That's how you feel about this person, Taurus. So some of you guys may have a family with this person. Some of you guys may have um, talked, had conversations about having a family. Or coming, if it's not a family, because look, let's just be real. Everyone's idea of, of, of the ten of... Um, Sorry, my phone just rang. Not everybody's um, idea of the Ten of Cups is like kids and, you know, getting married. So everyone's everyone's preferences are different. OK, but whatever happiness and togetherness um, um, you saw, you still see it. They still I'm getting hope from both of you. So I like that. Tell me more. The world. Some of you guys, this person may be at a distance. Um, maybe they live further away. Maybe they travel. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. You're both very independent people. You're both very... I am getting like this go-getter energy. I'm getting a sense of freedom as well. When I say freedom, I mean someone who's not... Ah, the pressure thing. It comes back to the pressure thing. Someone not like, you know... Um, I don't want to say nagging, but someone that's not on that person's case. Like, you know, come on, blah, blah. I, I'm getting a sense of freedom from you both and kind of like taking it easy. Like both of you wanting this and open to it. And whether you're single, whether you're um, in a relationship with this person, obviously you can be single and still be dealing with people. It is what it is. Whether it's a situationship kind of kind of um, thing that you guys are dealing with, or some of you guys could be married, long-term relationship, and you're finding yourselves, especially if there has been certain changes, um, big changes in your life, and you're learning how to kind of adapt. Yeah, you learn how to adapt now because the reality is things can't all... Sometimes life life is life in, okay? Life does what life does, okay? And to stay the same is not always helpful. Um, we do need to be adaptable and switch things up, you know? And accept that will help. Doesn't mean like completely be a new person, but just to just to help move along smoothly with the situations so let me see any advice for Taurus and this person the ace of wands I mean the king of cups 
Um, some of you guys' advice, I mean, I, I can't tell people to do that. But some of you guys are hoping for, yeah, 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 yeah. Three of Wands and Six of Cups with the Ace of Wands and King, King, um, King of Cups before that. Some of you guys are kind of wanting more of a... More intimacy, yeah? More togetherness. You want more... You want to feel close to this person, especially if you guys are quite independent people. You've got your own things going on. You know, I know loads of couples. I know so many couples who um, have their own things going on and they, they've been together for years, decades. Yeah. And it works for them. You know, they need that. It's very, very important. Um, and they still obviously have date nights and stuff like that, but they have their own things going on. And it keeps actually It's probably one of the reasons why their relationships have lasted so long. But um, some of you guys are wanting more to feel closer to this person. And some of you guys, it doesn't necessarily mean sex. It could be like, oh, I'd really like if that person um, hugged me more or held my hand. Or I wish this person would remember that I really like having, like, you know, the simple little things that make you happy, make you appreciate someone. It's not always the big grand things. It, it could be the smallest things like... You know, they can see you lying up, lying up on, on the sofa and you're freezing and they can bring you a blanket over and a cup of tea or hot hot chocolate or something. Something sweet, nice little gestures, okay? So I'm not going to be like, everyone needs to have more sex. No, I want to say, I, some of you guys, it could be a thing where being more... Um, um, thought, uh, you know, being more thoughtful, not necessarily you, it could be both of you or you, them, whatever it may be, be more thoughtful in regards to what this person likes and what makes them happy, okay? Um, anyways, yeah, that's good. I feel, I feel like that, that's nice. All right, let's see. So I feel like there's some next energy as well, especially with that dream. Sometimes I have dreams, guys, or I have certain, like, things in my head before I do readings, and, I'm, and I know it's not necessarily for me, it's for you guys. Okay, so there's definitely somebody that's thinking about you. Um, and it's not this person. This person is thinking about you, but it's not this person, okay? Let's see. Who is the person that is heavily on... Um, that heavily thinks about Taurus? Tell me about this person, please. Let's see if I can get a description of them, their personality traits, so you can really narrow it down. All right. Who is heavily, hev um, heavily thinking about Taurus? Someone you've moved on from. Some of you guys, you could have had kids with them. Seven of one, someone that you might have blocked. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It could be a fire sign. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, someone that you moved on from and you blocked. They, This person does not have access to you the way, the same way that they used to. Okay. Tell me about this person. This person could have had like long-ish hair at some point or hair around here because both both pictures um the the men their hair is this length yeah so they could have grown their hair out or wanted to or something like that yeah um the wheel of fortune the seven the seven of pentacles and the moon whoever this person was you knew they were here <laughs> whoever this person was you knew that they brought you I want to say bad luck, but let's just say things didn't always go the best while they were around you. You didn't feel the best version of yourself. Okay, this should narrow it down a bit more. Okay, I want to see what they're thinking about you and how they're feeling and stuff. But it's telling me, um, it's, gonna, it's helping me narrow things down, yeah? Um, this person... It's almost like they um and are if they should reach out to you. Some of you guys, this person has reached out to you. Um, it could be somebody that you were dealing with for 20 years on and off, two years on and off, and it was very intense, okay? Um, 
or whatever whatever the length of time okay because let's just be real it's when someone when someone love bombs someone things can get intense very very quickly very very quickly and you know doesn't tend to normally um end out end up in a great situation let's just be real there's a reason why that person's moving so fast okay those people scare me okay look it happened to me before yeah and i was like oh this person okay like you know um because the connection we really got on we re we really got on um and let me just say yeah certain people should get their like he needs to get checked yeah like mentally but yeah certain people just be careful yeah because them intense connections <laughs> yeah all right um no wonder you moved on and blocked this person and if it's not necessarily blocking them it could be a thing where you just don't allow access you just they can't have access to you you won't allow it yeah tell me more they eight of wands they i'm telling you this person's what been wanting to reach out to you or they have done they if they haven't been thinking about it they have done and they're waiting for a response it's, this person's waiting for you to kind of come back to them as well so they're playing a waiting game okay this is the type of person who, who in the past you is likely there's been a lot of back and forth like yeah i'm going to move on now and then it's like it's like a week, two weeks later, or a month later, six months later, this person's like, hey, did I leave my charger at your house? Or hey, did I, or, or hey, how are you? Or happy birthday, or, or you know, happy holidays. And it's just like, no, we're not, we don't need to do that. Do you know what I mean? Like someone is almost testing to see um, how you're feeling emotionally, okay? If you're willing to kind of like entertain this again, like, but the thing, The, the thing is, my, I'm making my face like that because I know there's a reason for the cast to come out the way they have. You really tried hard to move forward from this person. Like you might have really have cared, loved this person. Some of you guys, you married this person. Some of you guys, you had uh, children with this person. Some of you guys, you had a business. Some of you guys, you know, you, you, you introduced them to your family and all. Like you did big things with this person for some of you guys. And... Or maybe you really wanted to get to that place where you could and they weren't on that, but they wouldn't kind of move forward with you or make, however it was, like this person just was not right for you. And you at some point were like, yeah, nah, I'm done. I've got to move on. But this person is like a waiting game they're playing right now. Let me see what their future actions are. King of Pentacles. The lovers. I knew it. All right. You know, as soon as the King of Pentacles come out, um, one of the cards, I believe it's this deck here, the um, Damaged Confessions deck, it says, I want to come back to you. Um, is it all like successful and stuff like that? Something like that. I want to come back around when I'm successful, okay? Someone wants to be like, hey, this is what I have going on, um, blah, blah, blah. And it almost, it's almost like this person is... And this happens a lot, you know, this happens a lot. You know, like when people break up, they're like, okay, let me work on myself. Because it could be a genuine thing of that person's working on themselves. But some people really do fixate on on showing a person, which I don't think this is the great best way, because you should do that for yourself, not because you want someone else to respond to that, you know, uh, what you're doing, because you'll be disappointed. And that's not the aim of it. Yeah of doing better, of making better choices and stuff like that. But someone's like, I want to get myself in a much better position, a better job, better finances, whatever it is, yeah, so that I'm I'm looked upon as the... I don't want to say the... the the, the trophy or, or the... not the trophy, that's not the... Um, what do they call it? Um... Oh, I forgot. Kind of like a trophy, but there's another word. Uh, the prize. Someone wants to be like, no, actually, I'm the prize, okay? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it, okay? Um, just because someone's got a better job and whatever does not mean that the character's changed. 
just saying anyways that devil you see what i'm saying guys you see this is sometimes you might be like oh gee you being a bit like negative no i'm going with my emotions and what i'm feeling okay this person is still the devil they still have toxic and they're still toxic they have not changed thank you spirit thank you king of pentacles the lovers and the devil some of you guys have called this person satan and you've told them not today i ain't got time for it yeah ah if you were to entertain their their um you know them messaging you con uh, um you know reaching out to you yeah it's almost like you're giving an addict their uh what whatever addict has yeah whatever it is yeah drink or or whatever they take yeah it's like you're feeding this monster so be careful of that yeah oh you're sly this person's sly but don't don't try it yeah don't try it. right a few more cards and then i think i'll yeah the ace of swords call them out though no, the queen of swords i beg your pardon call them out on it okay and this person like it so I want to say that at the same time, but I know people are like that. They're going to be like, oh, no, are you still on that? Are you still, do you still think I'm like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I, the thing is, some people can change, but some people are very good at masking or becoming a new person. They, they're really, really good at that. The people just change, they change their mask. They don't always take it off and, okay, let me just be my real self. They'll say, well, that mask hasn't worked. Let me get this mask and let me see how this one does. Let me see who I can fool with that. Ooh, let me, let me, let me finish this reading, guys. All right. Justice. Ah, okay, yeah, that's also cutting them off as well. And you don't have to be rude to this person. You ain't got to do all that. That's all extra, yeah? You could just simply ignore them, cut them off, yeah? Kill them with kindness, thank you. Yeah, what they will do though is bring drama back into your life. You've got the page of cups and the five of wands. They may start to tell like if you do talk to this person, they're gonna start to reveal to you what they've been going through. Um and stuff like that. And some things, you know, some things can't be helped, like it's not, you know, their decision, but some things it is, you know, really what they've um put themselves in situations. The four of uh, pentacles this person don't know how to let go oh okay knight of swords knight of pentacles yeah this person this is a person who doesn't really move on um they may seem like they move on easily yeah it depends on how they treated you they could have like love bombed you went about their business met someone else got the whole relationship started a new family wet moved countries to start a new life and they could have still been bugging you still been um um harassing you or trying to be nosy or stalking you or hey how you doing yeah like no like i wouldn't even entertain that person to be honest with you i don't like how they've come out of the energy um if i'm real with you um i want to say stick to it stick to your guns yeah and don't entertain that so let's do a soul truth self-awareness card before or maybe i'll do one of these as well oh i was gonna do this it was okay i might do two two more cards okay so the so the soul truth self-awareness deck what message do you have for taurus please to close this reading out you are sticking out uh let's see what it says here it says if I had a magic wand and could have anything I desired in life, what would I choose? Right. Before I read it, remember the general message, yeah? The first portion I did. Okay. Remember about somebody going around in circles? Remember somebody... This always happens, guys. You've been watching me for a while. You know we're always... They, the first and last message in my readings, they always connect at some point, Okay ask yourself and sometimes i said you sometimes to get yourself out of this you have to gift yourself that and meaning allow yourself okay by accepting you know uh, reaffirming 
um, certain things, okay? Rewiring your thoughts and it takes time. It's not an overnight thing, you know, but you're worth it. You are so worth it, okay? Invest in time, energy into yourself, yeah? All right, so, and please answer that in your head, especially if it is you going through that, okay? We all get, we all experience that at some point in our life, like, what's next? And the answer is we don't always know that. We don't always know. We can't always fully prepare, but to be able to have that strength to move forward, that's that's really important, okay? Not to be stagnant, yeah? All right. Okay, let's see what it says here. This is the first time I've read this card. So this is this is I've been using this deck for months now. This card hasn't come out yet, okay? Burn with desire. There is power in your desires. Let them be your let them be your fuel today. Remember I said about the fire energy the element earlier. I love what I do, you know. Allow me to be cocky for a minute, yeah, because I literally say those things and then the last card always kind of like just is so relevant to what I was saying, what I was trying to like convey throughout the reading, the first portion. All right, here we go. I'm going to read it. There is power in your desires, yeah? Let them be your fuel today, yeah? Your desires are your soul's wings and it's time to take flight, okay? Today's soul action Today, go inward. Okay, let's do the hermit thing. Inward, yeah? Your answers lie within. What do you desire? Choose what makes you happy and do that. That's what it says. Do that. Okay? Like, with me, for example, guys, I like being at home. I like, I like cooking. I like taking my time. I don't, I'm not really a morning person all the time. Sometimes I'm, I, do you know what I mean? I do things that make me happy. I know, and the thing is, guys, yeah, look, look I know there's going to be someone like saying, well, lucky for you. No, I worked really hard to, to get where I am. I worked really, really hard to, to um, create a certain type of life for myself. So there's no, oh, that's easy for you. No, it's not actually because... <laughs> I, if anyone that knows me personally, this ain't my thing. I'm not. I'm not so. I'm very introverted. I keep to myself. I'm not out out in the streets. I'm not up up in people's house. I'm chill. I'm chilled. I'm in my own zone. I'm comfortable. I ain't got trouble for work. But but because I created that for myself, and a lot of you guys, you've done that. And if you have done that, please put in the comments what what helped you get there as well. Just to because. It's, I love to read it. I'm sure it will help somebody else as well. And it's very inspiring. Um, it will, yeah, it really will help a lot of people. All right, one, one last message. I took this deck out as well um, the other day because I wanted to have a few new, um, not new decks, but ones I haven't used in a while. So um might get one or two depending on what comes out. I forgot, I haven't really used this card. So let's see. My friendships support me nourish me and inspire me ha huh. yeah so very important as well the people that are around you if they are not uplifting you if they are not encouraging you if you feel like um they're dragging you down you need to to distance yourself because you know and the thing is a lot of us yeah we we kind of hold on to friendships because we've known them for 20 years or we met through family or because maybe you've shared private things between each other and it's like, and sometimes, I'm not saying cut these people off, I'm just saying, if you feel like someone's not really um, helpful or supporting whatever you're doing right now, keep your distance, especially if you're, if you're, um, if you're the one that's overly um, kind of putting yourself out there, reaching out to them more than they are you, yeah? Maybe, be careful with your energy right now moving forward, all right, guys? So I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe. Oh, by the way, as well, i got so many... F I'm very talkative today. One last thing. Um, I've decided... I was actually last night or this morning. I just decided I won't be doing... I'll be doing personal readings from now. I've been doing it for a few months now, probably like December. Um, but from now up until... Let's just say late March because I'm due in April and you know so I know like the baby you know some of you guys know baby can come whenever baby wants to come so 
Um, if you'd like a personal reading, try and book it in before the end of March, okay? Because I will, I'll probably give myself a few months off of doing personal readings when I have my baby, okay? So, um, very excited, but I want to make sure that I, you know, my baby gets my like full attention and stuff like that and I don't want to have anybody waiting I don't you know the stress and all that stuff I just want to be like you deserve to have my full um my full attention okay and that's how I like to do my readings you know if I've been doing personal readings for you like you know I don't even mind going over the time sometimes you like you guys if you had personal readings for me which a lot of you would have done um you know how I am with the readings like I don't just do it I do it because I want to help yeah um but you deserve my full attention. So the end of March, I won't be doing any more personal readings uh, for a good few months until I, until further notice, yeah? Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, I love you and leave you. Have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.